So we are at the Ponds Forge for the English summer meet now. I've got Jack with me. He's racing the 53 tomorrow with me. I've got Reg. Hello. Reg is not racing until Friday. It's currently Tuesday. Yeah, that's it. And we're doing a little bit of uh, free pool stuff before we go for a for a paddle. Me and Jack will probably go for a smaller paddle than Reg. We're we doing there, Reg. Yeah. Show us a little bit of the. Uh... A bit of catch, you know, get a bit of a visualization coming. This is how you do it. <laughs> <laughs> Reg Lloyd, sponsored by Swans. Ooh, that's it. <laughs> Jack is uh, trying out the Tiervenzo warm up. See if he wants to wear it tomorrow. Six. Yeah. Drag shorts on. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of an Airbnb, we have a three-storey house to stay in in Sheffield. It's five bedroom for the for the four of us: <laughs> mum, dad, my sister Dolly, and me. Um, nothing super fancy, but it's pretty cool nonetheless. Oh, more bedrooms, bathrooms, and bedrooms, and oh, what we've got going down here. Get a little bit of dinner cooked. Dolly's out for a run. Dad's eating pizza, which is ruined. Mum's bought loads of rubbish, even though we're down for two nights. Everything's healthy though, other than the pizza. So, the girls went out to do a little bit of late night shopping. After the heat wave of last week, Sheffield's raining. Uh, I don't know if we're picking quite up how drenched Dolly's shirt is right now. Uh, are you right, mother? No, I'm drenched. <laughs> These are absolutely wet. Repping the old school 2016 Summer National shirt. Best That's this me that three years ago. So, Sonny just came downstairs. He is in a little bit of a state. He's got the blood, the foam. I swear at you, cups. Oh, yeah, this is the situation. Didn't do very well, did he? from Romford Town, Jack Ayling in one from Guildford City, David Hammond in two from Newcastle, Thomas Bloor in three from University of Bath, Bruno Kempster in four from East Leeds, Alistair Crawford in five, Marcus Rogers from Millfield in six, representing Bosa Joe Barracuda, Jonathan Beck in seven from Tadcaster, Thomas Carswell in eight from Team Ipswich, Sonny Trigg and in nine from Bristol Henley's Callum Greenwood. 
This is the men's 18 years and over final. Fifth and final set of splash and dash swimming. And again, you can see the furious splashing going off in the pool at the moment. Just a crater being created around each 10 of these swimmers who has managed to propel themselves up towards the front. Again, we're looking to the middle and again, lane five, Marcus Rogers of Millfield. Just over a tenth of a second separating the top three. Look at that. Rogers from Crawford from Kempster. Great mutual respect between them all, and rightly so as well. What a race. The top eight, all under 24. Just finished the 53 final. We didn't do the one, two. We did do the nine and ten. The nine and ten. <laughs> not, not what we were aiming for. Next year, next year. Next year, the one, two. <laughs> Next year we're going to do the one, two, three with Reg and Dolly somehow poolside. We don't know why. She's not done anything. <laughs> oh. So we've got um, Cambridge assistant coach here, Tom. Any words? Ben, any words? Peter Love Barry, you, Mum. Love you. <laughs> There is, there is jobs going for both City of Peterborough and City of Cambridge Swimming Club. Um, Peterborough is the biggest growing city in uh, England. So, yes. so the Peterborough job is apparently better than the Cambridge job. I'll say that. <laughs> that <laughs> How was your one length, Grace? Absolutely rubbish. Oh. How was your one length, Emma? Are you in the final? Yeah, I'm in the final. How was your one length? <laughs> Where'd you go? Uh, 27.6. Ah, into the final second. Karis? <laughs> uh, it was okay. Okay. Yeah. Are you in the final? Yeah. Oh, we got a double winner. <laughs> Grace? Is that your season done, Grace? Yes. Guess who also didn't make the final? I just Me! Hello Olivia. Hello. We've got Olivia here. She's she's done better than me because she gets to swim again tonight. And she didn't die like me. <laughs> talk talk everyone through my last 25. Well, I hear that the splits were very good and it was like a 14, 14. And then I hear it was like 11. A 17, which was absolutely perfect. But his hands were like, it was great, it was really long the whole way. And then it was like for the last like, seven meters, it just went. Seven? I wish it was seven. <laughs> okay, 15. <laughs> She's too nice. Too nice. She's going to kill it in the final later. It was going really well. It was Sunny going so was well. Going really well. I don't know if the, the max 15s and 25s he did for his 50 quite paid off on that last 20, 20 meters. <laughs> I thought it the last seven. I thought it was just the last seven. Apparently it was the last seven. I mean, did it feel like the last seven to you? A lot longer than that. <laughs> <laughs> don't know about that. If Elliot gets a medal later and goes faster than me, I will feature... Wait, what time did you go? 58-0. I'll Ooh. feature your medal ceremony in the vlog Thank if you get a medal later. Challenge Same for you, Mia. If yeah. you get a medal la later, your medal ceremony, ceremony will be in the vlog. Can I shake your hand? Now? You come down. No. If I do win, no, if I do medal, okay. which is a very high possibility, can I shake your hand? Okay, well, well I won't see next year. let's be honest, I'm not waiting around on the off chance either of you medal. <laughs> I'm going home <laughs> now. Huh? Second. I'm going home via Burger King. Am I still in the shop? Yeah. Both of you are still in the shop. Even now? Yeah. It's got that wide angle mirror. No, don't get that. Get it right. 
Last year I was like bald. And that is a wrap on the Swimmingland summer meet for me. So that means my season is over, the racing is done. I'm going to give myself a nice lengthy break now before heading back to Muscat and uh, deciding when I'm going to get things back underway again. A few things to reflect on for sure, my preparation for these, these, these national meets this summer. They didn't really go to plan, I didn't get any PBs, I didn't pick up any medals and that would have been nice and definitely within my capabilities to do so. But that's okay, I, I think I know what I can do in the future to, to get round that. So, uh, rather annoyingly, my GoPro died in the car when I was just signing out. So I've just literally been sitting here editing the video together and just finishing off from what I said. I'm looking forward to racing again next season, making a few adjustments and we'll be training again after my three week break back in the UK. There is more videos to come in the summer though. There won't be vlogs, but there will be reviews of equipment and tech suits that I've tried and used and been training with and haven't got around to reviewing yet. So do subscribe if you would like to see some reviews. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the like. If you swum at this meet, do let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching as always, and I'll see you next time.